guys, this is Holly. Tonight is January 27th and it's Wednesday night. And uh, I'm doing an update sooner than I normally would just because um, I got a phone call from a stem cell friend yesterday who said, you know what, when you were at a commission and that people saw your last video, they got really worried. I do have to thank everybody's kind words and well wishes and prayers and thoughts. Um, it's been so great to have so many people supporting me. Uh, whether you have a disease or not, or whether you're just living life and, and have heard a little bit about what's going on with me, it's, it's so great, those words, even if it's just one sentence, you have no idea if I can't respond, how you know empowering and how impactful that is to me. So I thank all of you. Um, I'm happy to report that the wheelchair is gone. The walker is gone. I can walk up and down my stairs again. Yay, I can see my upstairs. I cooked dinner tonight and washed the dishes. Raj went back to work and isn't worrying about me falling and not being able to get up and making it to the bathroom and falling out of bed. So um, I'm happy to report that the flare up, is, you know, is dissipated and we're back on track. Um, I didn't know if that was gonna happen. I didn't want the flare up, but now in retrospect, talking to people yesterday and today, getting back on track, I, um, it's not such a bad thing after all because now I can tell you that that again the stem cells are amazing. Um, it's not a cure. I'm not going to tell you that it's a cure. Uh, is it progressive medicine? Yes. Am I going back on MS medications? No. Did one neurologist kind of tell me that he thinks I should? Yes. Right now that's not my course. Uh, I've done the medications and they weren't working for me. I'm not going to drug myself up again on, on medications that are very expensive that weren't working for me. Um, I'm happy for the people that they do work for. Uh, I don't think any of the drugs are a bad drug. Um, it just wasn't working in my case. I'm excited to be able to experience this and share with everybody. Um, I have to share a little story. When I was doing so poorly just a couple weeks ago and I was desperate and couldn't sit up in bed and couldn't breathe, my dad checking on me, he calls and he says to me very innocently, he says, now Holly, can't the clinic just send your stem cells that they saved? Can't they just send them here and a doctor inject them into you? Now my dad understands the stem cell procedure. When I came home last year in November of 2008, and I did so amazingly well, I stood up during Thanksgiving and walked across the room and he could visibly see that I was doing better than before I had the treatment done. He opted to go and have treatment done for his type two diabetes. Very exciting. But just his innocent comment of can we send you know, ship the stem cells here to make you better here now without going back to Costa Rica. Pretty powerful comment. Do I hope someday we'll see that? Yeah. Could I wait until that process is, is legal here? Um, I said, Dad, remember that thing called the FDA? There's a reason it's not done here yet because they want you to jump through hoops and they want to test and test and test and they want guarantees. Now I couldn't wait for those guarantees and the risks were minimal, almost void, uh, a procedure to extract my stem cells, injections into my spine, um, non-controversial adult stem cells, very exciting stuff. Do I hope in my lifetime now with my sharing and moving forward with this journey of mine, maybe make it reali you know, realizable to other people that this is where we're heading? I'm excited that the future of medicine is heading in this direction. And not just for multiple sclerosis. You know, of course I'm going to talk about MS because that's what's affected me. But I've had the opportunity in the last year to talk to heart disease patients, to talk to autistic families, to talk to people that have been in accidents and become quad and paraplegic. Um, you know, it has so much potential to help so many people. And, you know, it's great to know that we're heading in that direction. Is it going to be as quick as we all want it to be? No. Are there going to be lots of obstacles and lots of hoops to jump through and, you know, and barriers? Yeah. Is that just our process? Unfortunately, yes. Um, again, are the drug companies going to keep doing what they do and do their research and development? Of course. Um, I'm hoping that maybe with me being vocal and sharing and talking and, and telling you the good and the bad, that we see why we need to be aggressive. So to make somebody's journey a little bit easier, that's what it's about. I'm so thankful for the people that put their neck on the line, that risk doing this, um, that do the research, that you know change the protocol when they need to to make it better for the next patient next month. I'm so fortunate that there's people out there that will do that and that you know are moving forward and not worrying about all the obstacles and the boundaries and the limitations. So 
thank you to all of them and everybody who's supporting me. And uh, that's where we're at today. I'm healthy. I'm, I'm feeling good. I honestly, I'll tell you that I should be at 100% within about a week and a half. I'm still taking care of myself, resting. I'm not overdoing it. I'm not going to. No stress. We're going to limit stress and um, talk to everybody I can and catch back up. So yay, no more wheelchair. Yay, no more whacker. And I'm really excited and a clear mind and no bladder problems and I can see and I can feel my fingertips and I can stand up and you can see, yes, I can stand up. Oh, it's hard to see the camera, but yes, I can stand up. So um, if I could carry the camera around, I would, but I don't want to break the camera. So that's just me being a klutz. That has nothing to do with MS. So everybody stay healthy and check back soon. And I'm going to update my website to let everybody know what's happened. But the flare-up is gone. I'm not going back on medications. And that's where we're at. And you guys have a good week.